What's going on everybody? Welcome to the REF Sense Christmas Corner yet again. I hope everybody's doing well today. So this week I made a YouTube short video talking about mature versions of popular fragrances. Like when I first started my fragrance journey, it was easy to identify some of the most popular fragrances that were on the market. I identified with them and I still like them. They're really good. But as my journey progressed, I realized that there are some deeper and more resinous fragrances out there than just the mainstream fragrances. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give you five popular fragrances and we're going to talk about some really mature versions of them that exist. So I hope you're ready to get into it because we're starting now. Now before we get into this guys, remember that in the description below I will be listing each and every fragrance that appears on this video along with links where you can buy them. So be sure to go and check them out. This first fragrance is a no brainer. It's one of the most popular and a lot of people say it is overplayed, but I don't care. I still really, really like it from the House of Dior, which is my favorite designer house. We have Sauvage, the Eau de Toilette, and I got this really big ass 200 milliliter bottle. I don't care, no regrets. But Dior Sauvage is a very ambroxan based fragrance. It's got some citrus, it's got some black pepper, it's got some ambroxan, but there is a bit of a more grown up version out there from the House of Prada. This is Prada Lunar Rosa Carbon. Now, some people will also say that this smells exactly like Dior Sauvage, and I will have to disagree with you in the fact that it smells exactly like it. There are definitely some heavy similarities, but this one stands out a little bit more, in my opinion, and adds or ups the maturity level by adding notes of lavender. It's got some mineral notes in here, and it's not spiced with black pepper but it is spiced with patchouli. I have actually worn this to the office, I've worn this on job interviews, and I have gotten a lot of compliments from it. It fits each and every one of those occasions perfectly. Gets eight hours of longevity, and this one is not as expensive as the Dior Sauvage, but I will warn you as well, this one is quite hard to find these days. You can find the Prada Lunarosa Sport, um, a lot easier than you can find this one, but it's still worth picking up if you find it, okay? Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. It's the mature version of Dior Sauvage. Next up on our list, we have one of the most popular clubbing fragrances from the mid 90s and people still buy it up. It is crazy how popular this fragrance is even to this day. From the house of Paco Rabanne, we have the original One Million. It is a very warm and spicy fragrance with some citrusy notes like mandarin orange on the top with some cinnamon and leather and amber in it as well. It's very loud and it projects like crazy. It lasts about six to eight hours, but I think it is a bit dated and a bit, uh, a bit on the younger side. For those of you guys that want a mature twist to this DNA, check this one out as one of the most recent releases from Victor and Rolf. It is Spice Bomb Infrared. Top notes of saffron, pink pepper, and fruit. And then as you get into the heart notes and the base notes, you're gonna find cinnamon, red pepper, benzoin, and tobacco. Tobacco, whatever. But this is a really great fragrance. My wife loves this. She says it reminds her of Christmas. But along with the up in maturity level, you're also gonna have an up in the price range. We're talking about 80 to 100, maybe even $110 if you shop uh, if you shop retail, but you can still uh, you can still kind of find it a little bit reasonable if you shop online. It does project quite a bit. It lasts between six to eight hours, and uh, it's a, definitely a cold weather fragrance. All right, but it is great. It is very spicy, and it carries a lot of that same feel, just without some of those clubbing vibes, in my opinion. So, Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Extreme. Look it up. Moving right along to fragrance number three. Now this first fragrance that I'm going to introduce is probably the most mature of any of the first fragrances on this list. It is warm and it is sensual. It is Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. It is very ambery and tobacco oriented fragrance and I think it is beautiful. 
but it does have a downside from its price tag, which is still kind of high depending on where you shop, is the performance. This lasts for about four hours and that is it. Also, it's not loud at all. It's just a skin scent even from the beginning. When I spray this on, I spray it like 12 times myself. I don't care. I like it, but it does not perform very well. However, there is a step up from this that is a bit more mature and it has the same DNA and it performs infinitely better. It is a niche fragrance called Hale Bop from Tiziana Terenzi. Oh, if you love amber like I do, then you will absolutely love this fragrance right here. Uh, this is probably a lot more unisex though than Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. It starts off with some cinnamon and nutmeg and some lemon on the top. And then as it dries down, you get some vanilla, patchouli, amber, sandalwood, and a little bit of geranium as well. I think this smells like Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum, if you added some spice to it and you upped the performance level on it. But with the niche name comes a bigger price tag. I found this bottle for about $170 discount online, but if you shop from somewhere like Nordstrom or Needless Markup, Neiman Marcus, you're gonna find it at $425, which is absolutely ridiculous. I love this fragrance, but I'm not paying that much for this fragrance at all, okay? So if you find it for $200, maybe $225 or less, I definitely say it's worth the purchase. It has a great presentation as well. It comes in a beautiful box. It comes with some information about the brand and other scents. They did very, very well on this one. But Hale Bop from Tiziana Terenzi, the amber bomb that does outperform Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. Here we are at fragrance number four, and we're going to go back into popular clubbing fragrances. And what is probably one of the more popular clubbing fragrances still sold today, it is Versace Eros, the Eau de Toilette. Now, they have released the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum version, but I still prefer the Eau de Toilette when it comes to those. But I will also say the Eros Flame, my favorite of all of them. Well, we're talking about this one as it is the most popular. It's got that incredibly popular DNA of vanilla, mint, and apple. But there is a more grown up version, I believe, of the uh, Versace Eros, and it is from Polo. We are talking about Polo Red Extreme. Now, it has some of that same fruity DNA. It's got some blood orange, some ebony wood in there, but what really gives this one a mature twist is it's present a very pronounced note of coffee. That coffee really ups the maturity whenever I wear it, and I prefer this one actually to the Versace Eros. Uh, but it's a very linear fragrance, okay? It's not gonna change very much. Once you put it on your skin, it'll last about six hours. And surprisingly, this one is actually a little bit cheaper than the Versace Eros. I don't see a lot of people talking about this one all that much. I see them talking about the Eros all day long, but that's because so many more people know about this one. But the uh, Polo Red Extreme, I do prefer over the Versace Eros. So definitely give this one a try if you want to stand out, appear a little bit more mature and a little bit older, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. But Red Extreme is where it's at. Last up on this list, we're going to talk about Gourmand fragrances. These are fragrances that have some dessert-like qualities that smell a bit edible even. Uh, they kind of bring out a bit of a romantic type of atmosphere and they're very alluring. I love them. The first fragrance is actually very affordable. We're talking about $35, $40, and I recommend everybody buy it. It is Halloween Man X. It's got notes like coffee, rum, and cinnamon in there, but that cinnamon, it doesn't give it any type of a spice, okay? It just adds a little bit to the uh, depth of the fragrance. But as I am on TikTok a lot, I do recommend this one. I do see that it draws a bit of a younger crowd, so if you want to up the maturity level on your gourmand game, I recommend going with the niche house of Killian Black Phantom. Bro, uh, I bought this fragrance specifically to wear when I am out with my wife. I do not wear this in any other situation. Only my wife 
can smell uh, this fragrance on me. It has dark chocolate, rum, caramel, coffee, and even a little bit of almond in there. But as this is a niche fragrance, you're gonna be paying niche prices. We're talking between 200 and 250 dollars. It lasts about six hours, six and a half, seven hours, somewhere around there. Uh, it doesn't project a ton, but like I said, that's not a bad thing when you talk about romantic scents. You want to keep that person close to you. You want to keep them right next to you so that they can smell it whenever they're getting close. All right, that's not a bad thing when it comes to gourmands. Uh, but also, I will say that this is a bit of a, a bit of a gamble whenever you blind buy this. So I recommend if you find these at like a Sephora or a Nordstrom, please, please sample it first. Okay. Uh, you can blind buy if you're like me and you're reckless and you just like to throw caution to the wind. Knock yourselves out, but I really like this one, okay? Black Phantom by Killian, a really great niche gourmand fragrance. And there we are, my friends. These are some really good alternatives, mature alternatives to some popular fragrances. And please remember that these popular fragrances like the Sauvage, like the Eros and the One Million, I'm not throwing shade on these fragrances. There is a reason why they are popular and it's because they smell damn good. But, um, you know, sometimes some of the more popular fragrances just don't lack the depth and uh, the unique qualities that some people like to look for in their fragrances. So please check any of these out. Like I said, links are in the description below. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day, a great week. I love you all. Please like and subscribe to the video. Follow me on all of my other uh, social media channels, and I will see you next time.